and this young girl just burst into tears. She was scared. She she ran down the carriage screaming. And do you know what my mother said to me? She said, she said, I mean, I mean, if you can't control yourself, if you can't control yourself, you, I mean, you, you should not be here. Despite such daily setbacks, he's determined to try and forge a career in the arts. He's been coming to stage work since he was 10 to our summer schools. He's gradually built up relationships and a lot of the, particularly the girls here. Um, I mean, he's quite a good looking chap too, isn't he? <laughs> so the, he's quite popular. <laughs> On occasion, um, Tourette's does, you know, cause a problem in the fact that we have to spend quite a lot of time motivational procedures with Matt to just make him feel that he can achieve. I just, I mean, I mean, one thing, I mean, one thing about me is I am absolutely scared, rigid of success. Dancing alongside his martial arts skills um, basically focus what he's doing and also give him confidence. He needs the confidence. He feels very low in himself on occasion. If something's going really well, I will automatically do something to fail it because, because again, in some ways, I don't feel I deserve to be successful. I mean, I, 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 I mean, again, one thing Tourette's does to you is, is it does give you very low self-esteem and no self-belief. I've always had that problem. He's got all sorts of ambitions. He wants to act, he wants to do a bit of modelling. But at the moment, the way he is, he wouldn't get through a casting because his tics are so, um, so large and noisy. There's two things we want him to be able to overcome. One is his, his self-doubt and the other is to find a way of dealing with his tics. Ideally, uh, I, I, mean, I mean, I know I can't completely get rid of, I, know I can't completely eradicate my speech problem, but I mean, you know, but, you know, but I mean, I'd like to learn some techniques to cope better with my speech. I have no idea what or how, but we are. I just believe that the, uh, the mind is the most amazing piece of kit and there are people who are able to do things with it. I'm hoping the Paul is one of them. Having read Matt's case notes, Paul calls him to assess the severity of his condition. Hello, is that Matthew? It is, yes. Hi, Matthew. It's Paul McKenna speaking. Oh, good afternoon, sir. How are Hello. you? Hello. Yeah, very good, thanks. Um, so, <coughs> I've been reading your, your case history, um, and you had Tourette since you were about 10. Well, that's uh, when you were diagnosed with it. Yes, yeah, yeah? that's right, yeah. And it manifests as motor tics yeah. and, and also some, some auditory um, expressions as well, yeah? Exactly, that's correct. Yeah, okay. And, and um, do you find that it's worse when you're under <coughs> stress? So, big one? Do you find that it's worse when you're under stress? Yes, for that adapt it is, yes. Yeah, okay. So, um, I mean, there's a couple of things that, because I've worked with people with Tourette's before, and certainly um, what they have found is that by using some of the stress control techniques that I'm able to teach them, they were able to reduce the symptoms at times when perhaps they would have been worse. Okay. Um, so, would you be up for trying some of those things? I'll be, I'll be more than to do so, yes. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, let's just try a couple of things. Paul guides Matt through a number of procedures in an effort to identify which techniques will work best for him. Very, very good. Okay. Um, what I would be particularly interested in is seeing the, if, seeing the effects. I look forward to seeing you in a few days. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. I think I can help Matthew uh, reduce the symptoms of the Tourette's so that, that they become less frequent, maybe not so severe. but. What I'm absolutely certain I can help him with is to feel better in himself about this generally. I, 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 one thing Paul did say to me was, hey, I'm, I'm Matt, I have Tourette's, this is a special part of me, it is me. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, I have looked at this in that way before, but I've never quite believed it, and now, and now I do believe it. Matt arrives in London to meet Paul face to face. I'm a bit apprehensive about meeting Paul for the first time I'm often, but I mean, even though he has had a very high success rate with previous cases, I'm not sure what he can do for Tourette's, but it will be interesting to see um, me after the, after the treatment as, as opposed to now, I suppose. But I mean, um, but, but I mean, but in the past I've been too scared to accept help because I used to see it as a failure. I, 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 mean, I mean, I just thought the best way to cope with it was to soldier on by myself. Tourette's is a chemical imbalance in the brain which produces uh, motor tics, which are twitches, uh, or v vocal tics, which are um, noises, usually in the form of profanities. 
uh, uh, which happened involuntarily. And uh, this is made worse when the person is under stress. Stress is a neurophysiological state. Um, what I'm going to do with Matt is I'm going to create a neurophysiological state of relaxation. I'm then going to stress him and fire off the relaxation. So I'm going to, what we're going to have is stress and relaxation happening simultaneously, and one will cancel out the other, which, will inf uh, which won't cure him, but uh, will bring a uh, greater uh, emotional equilibrium to his life, which means that as a result, he should have less of the Tourette's symptoms. Come this way, Matt. Have a seat. How are you doing? I'm fine again. How are you? How are you? Yeah, good. So, what, what I'd like to do first of all is literally rehearse um, a state of relaxation. Okay. Yeah? So, we're going to do this through visualization because right. the mind and body are intimately linked. You know, if you think of something scary and, you know, imagine it intensely enough, the nervous system can't tell the difference between a real and a vividly imagined experience. What we'll do is I want to create a slider here. Yeah, so, um, and it'll be numbered one to five. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. you know, first stage is one, second stage two, etc., cetera, right, et cetera. Three, four, five, Yeah, that's four, right. Five. First of all, you need to sit in a position which is kind of comfortable. And then just close your eyes and relax inside. And any, if there are any twitches, it does, it's fine. It doesn't matter at all. And from this place, I'd like you to imagine how you would look if you were twice as relaxed as you are right now. And float into that more relaxed you see through the eyes of your more relaxed self hear through the ears and feel the greater relaxation bring the slider back up six to five five to four four to three coming back two move the slider up to one and wide awake Tell me how you felt when you were doing that. When I was relaxed, I felt a lot more in control of myself than I have done for, mm. for quite a while. It felt sublime, mm. if I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, good. Okay, this is really nice. That's what we want to be able to do today, is to, te to, to train your neurology and physiology to change states dramatically, yeah. to go from <gasps> to ah. And mm. what will happen is, when we feel the stress coming, we can go and iron it out. Iron it out. Iron Having it out. spent 40 minutes on relaxation, Paul now moves on to a new technique. Um, this, this tapping technique, now this definitely produces more serotonin, yeah? But um, it's very good for compulsion and for stress and trauma. In fact, the number one choice of trauma treatment in Kosovo is developed by a brilliant American scientist. And uh, I know it looks a bit weird, but it works really well. So I want you to think about an activity, uh, something that you find very stressful. Driving a car with with the passenger in the back who's, I wouldn't say weird, but he just gives off a vibe of being, well, I wouldn't say untrustworthy, but the closest thing to it. So on a scale of one to ten, where's the stress level for that? I'd say about get, seven. You get yeah. great. Let's concentrate on that feeling while we do this. Run it now. Concentrate on that feeling. This tapping technique is called TFT, stands for Thought Field Therapy. And in an area of the brain called the amygdala is stored in the proteins a code, like a computer code, for compulsion and stress and trauma. And what this does is, while we think about what's stressful and tap simultaneously, is it reorganizes the way the code uh, is written in that area of the brain. So it's, it's like overwriting the operating software of the brain. Show me, what's the thing that you do? Is it you, you go, like that, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you show me? I'm trying, I just can't do it. You can't do it? I just can't do it. Try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks, Matt. In just two hours, so much has been achieved. I think that worked very well uh, because um, part of what's driving the symptoms of the Tourette's is the stress. When I was able to reduce the stress, I'm changing uh, the, the, the brain and body chemistry um, and, and there's less symptoms. It was one of the most liberating experiences I've ever had. I mean, before I went in, I was very nervous. I wasn't sure what I was going to expect. But now I've come out, I just feel so much happier as a person. I feel absolutely brilliant. We saw changes, significant changes happen within the room. If you can get them to happen in the room, you can get them to happen in life. So I foresee that not only will he have less to rest symptoms, uh, but also he'll, in place of that, become more confident and more optimistic, more outgoing, and, and, and get a better quality of life.
I'm having to put the issue of Tourette's behind me. I mean, I know it's played a, a, re a, a very prominent part in my life so far, but I hope just to throw that all away and start fresh. If I do have a tick outburst, I won't feel ashamed to have the outburst. I'll just pass it off as if it was absolutely nothing. Two weeks later, and it doesn't get more stressful than this. Matt's about to read for one of Britain's top casting directors, Esther Charkham, whose credits include Chariots of Fire and Quadrophenia. It makes me feel dizzy, giddy. You smell brand new. You look brand new, all of you. The soft little hairs on 